Hi, I'm Casey Birchmeyer with Agriculture.com and Successful Farming Magazine. As 2014 harvest is coming to completion, there's going to be one more task that you should do before getting out of the field, and that's sampling for soybean cyst nematodes, or SEN. And that's because SEN can cause you a 30% yield loss, and you won't even know it until harvest. And lots of times, the symptoms are blamed on other causes. Their eggs can survive in soils for several years without a host being present. So if you're going to take a cornfield like this and plant it in the soybeans in 2015, you should go out and collect samples. So just go out into your field with a soil probe and collect a core from that's 8 inches long and 1 inch diameter. Then you should have 15 to 20 cores per sample area and you need as many samples as you have different management zones. However, if you do grid sampling, you're just going to go ahead and collect 1 to 2 cores per grid cell. Then you're going to send that into the lab for analysis. Once you get your analysis, you can make your management decisions. According to Greg Tilka of Iowa State University, if you have low to moderate uh, population densities, then you should be fine going ahead and planting a SCN resistant soybean variety. However, if you get your numbers back and they're on the high side, well then you may just want to consider going to second year corn and saving that resistant variety for a different year when your numbers are lower.